Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video on the Shea Moisture um, Weightless Shea Serum Foundation, um, which is a new foundation line from the Shea Moisture um, Company. Um, I'm going to start this video out, video out as a first impressions where I'm going to show myself applying the um, the foundation for the first time. Um, also using two other products that are new in the makeup or cosmetic line for Shea Moisture. Then I am going to report back how it wore throughout the day and whether, you know, I see myself continuing to wear it or, you know, taking it back. And then, towards the very end of this video, I kind of want to do a review of the product over the span of a week. So I am going to wear this foundation for a week um, and pretty much give my review towards the end of the week. And the review, you know, kind of has the, you know, how many colors are in the line, what are the claims of the product, if the product lives up to the claims. Um, I know firsthand putting this um, foundation on on the second day that if and I forgot to shake it which shaking it is a key component to the foundation and you definitely see a difference in the foundation it's a more it's more thicker a and more I don't know how to put this in words more pigmented so I didn't shake it the second time that I wore it because simply I forgot to and um, it was very very red like it was very dark it was darker than the color it is when you do shake it so that is a warning but we'll do in a full extensive review towards the end of this video so stay tuned and um, if you want to, you know, see my first impressions and my review, keep on watching. Thank you. Alrighty. Hello. So, before I get into applying the foundation, I have already primed my face with the True Cover Girl um, Primer for Oily Skin. And then I filled in my pores with the Smashbox photo finish uh, foundation primer because it's silicone and I have put correction underneath my eye because I am in orange from NYX because I like to put that underneath my foundation so before I go into applying the foundation which of course is the Shea Moisture weightless Shea serum foundation with a natural finish I want to see if you can see and you probably can't that it separates oh I really hope that you can see it kind of separates at the top like you can really see you know kind of like a uh, natural peanut butter or almond oil where the oil surfaces at the top of the peanut butter so you kind of have to mix it around um, that is kind of what it looks like so it's like separating so the first thing that this foundation does, uh oh, <clears throat> the first thing that this foundation does say is shake well before each use and start with a very small amount. So um, I'm going to shake. You can hear it. it's liquidy, liquidy. All right, it has been shaken. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Yes. Okay, your girl has a pump. Let's go ahead and take this whole big fat sticker off. <sighs> she has a pump, and uh, like I mentioned, or maybe not, a, it's 1.04 ounces. Since it's liquidy, and the directions say, dispense a small drop, dot on the nose, the cheeks, the chin, and the forehead, blend into skin, and buildable for customized coverage. So, it's 
small dot. Let's see. Um, okay, it's taking a couple of pumps to come out. There's the one pump and it says on nose, cheek, or forehead. Nose, cheek, forehead. I guess. So that's the color. And you can see. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need more coverage than that, but we're gonna go with what it says. Taking my flat top um, brush from Sonia Cashew, and we're gonna just blend that in. And it's spreading pretty far, so it wasn't lying when it said that you need a little bit. I mean, because them dots pretty much got my whole face. Now, I will say, it's light coverage. It's not heavy coverage, but the bottle does say a natural finish. So... Natural finish pretty much means that it's going to be a light coverage. And I will um, document how this foundation does all day because um, I'm about to go to a kid's birthday party and then do some other stuff. So that one dot, honestly, I'm going to say, covered my, I mean, that one pump with dots just on my cheek, nose, forehead, and um, chin, uh, pretty much covered my whole face in regards to a light application. And um, I can say, it ain't bad, it ain't bad at all. I don't know if you can see. I probably should have took a picture of my face before, but that is um, the coverage. Um, it, what do you guys think? It might be slightly, slightly darker than my neck, just a little bit. Again, I got the um, honey and warm. Uh, I don't know. Not too bad. We're gonna do one more pump, which I got that much. That was like the worst way to hold up. So it comes out kind of, you know, medium thick. It doesn't come out the pump uh, too thick and, or not too liquidy or thin. So, all right. So, the first layer was pretty light. Um, second layer provided um, some medium coverage. And it's actually not that bad. Doesn't feel like any veins on my face. Doesn't feel too tacky. I couldn't tell if there was any transfer, but, and I hate transfer, so that is a deal breaker with this, honestly, um, if there's transfer, well, then maybe, I don't know, might be going back to stuff. I hate transfer, I hate foundation transfer. So, this is the final application of the, fine, the foundation. I am going to the rest of my face on which is just powder little blush um i will say that i did use the eyeshadow and my eyeshadow look 
can see. And um, the eyeshadow, super pigmented, blendable, pretty color. And this is peach opal. I really like this. Um, of course, they don't have them in the single like like pans. They come in the already um, what is it? Already case. Whereas before you had to buy the case and the pan separately. Um, but then the eyeshadows are four or something and now they're five something because they're in the pack the case. So this is peach opal and I it's just a um, pretty color. It's just a, a nude peach. Very um, opaque and pretty. So um, I'm going to finish my face and then I'm going to show you the application of the lipstick in maple so okay I'm back with uh my finished face I did uh, my concealer in um, MAC Pro Longwear 35W I set that with my L'Oreal Trim Match uh, mineral powder in W45 I set my face with the L'Oreal True Match mineral powder in N6 N7 I um used my wet and wild contour kit to bronze and highlight and i applied my tart blush and flush for a very light um uh, blush application then i set everything with my makeup forever shit mix and fix spray so now I'm going to try Shea Moisture's lipstick for the first time. I got the color in Maple. And it says Shea Butter Luscious Lipstick. And yeah, let's go from there. Oh, and I wanted to mention it is 148. And we're going to go from that time in regards to checking in on my foundation. And hopefully we'll... It will stay in the true times of an oily girl. An oily face, I'll say. Oh man, I shouldn't have tore it like that. If I can get this opened. Maple is looking like her. Uh oh. The packaging is, uh, let me show you what the package looks like. Looks like this brown with their signature uh, tannish. Uh, bronzy color on there you can see the end of the color at the end of the lipstick and it's just a new color which I tend to draw towards them it's creamy but not too creamy And this is, got makeup on both my hands. Um, this is what she looks like. So I think, I think it's pretty. And it's not like super creamy where it's falling off of your lips as you would smush them together. But then it's not matte or it's not dry. So I would say maybe like a satin kind of feel. Yeah, a little mix between satin and luster from like the MAC lines. So, so like I said, I am going to get myself fully ready and head out to a birthday party. Be out and about, enjoy this wonderful sunny weather and I will check in with how I feel about this foundation. As of now, it's light and it isn't tacky and no transfer but we'll see what my oils say we'll see i don't know if i'm going to blot but i really don't blot anyways sometimes unless i'm like truly an old grease bucket but anyways i'll see you guys later bye back with my final review of the Shea Moisture Weightless Sheer Serum Foundation Natural Finish 
again my color is in honey um, it's one full ounces um, honey is slightly darker than my complexion um, this is one of the warm colors so um, for the summer this will probably fit me perfectly um, but when the winter comes back around I do believe that I'm going to try um, the warm color that's under this one um, <clears throat> so just my final thoughts on this product I have been using it for All right, about so I have been using this product for about maybe two months off and on because I've been trying other foundations at the same time um, it does come in a plastic bottle with a pump um, and might I say a little bit goes a long way like it says in its instructions um, to dab your cheeks your forehead your nose and your chin and then rub it in and then if you need any more coverage do so just dab on a little bit more um, because you can actually go overboard if you do too much at first so I will say a little bit goes a long way definitely make sure you shake it before you use it which pretty much you shake most foundations before you use it this one I would say make sure you really do so because it's more concentrated if you don't so the color is probably going to come out darker um, there is some transfer um, it's not transfer free which I wish it would be um, it has it's in between a demi matte and a satin kind of feel it's not luminous um, it is some moisture to it. It's not definitely not matte, but it's not luminous at the same time either. Um, for me, because I'm oily skin, it definitely you know my oils start to peek through after four to five hours. But I'm not crazy oily, which I do like. So this one. This, I'm going to really give it a try in the summer to see how well it does. The only thing I don't like about it is the transfer. So, you know, you have to be careful about it getting on your clothes, your hands, blah, blah, blah. Um, because my color is dark, I did have to mix this with some of my other lighter um, either um, foundations. Or um, today I mixed it with this CC cream from um, Yes to Grapefruit because it's lighter than my complexion or um, but when I was wearing this earlier a couple of months ago um I was mixing mix it mix it I was mixing it with the Shea Moisture Balm which the color is light so this was giving me my light color and this was giving me my dark color um it is a lightweight foundation um, it's a light foundation that you know you really kind of don't feel it on your skin it's very blendable um, it's kind of you know it's easy to blend it's silky it feels comfortable on your skin so even though it transfers it feels really comfortable on your skin like you really can't feel it on your skin I really really like it um, it does have natural ingredients in it it's blended with um, a moisturizing shea butter and it has antioxidant rich vitamins of C and E to nourish and protect your skin. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to see. It doesn't contain any parabens, talc, gluten, sulfates, silicones, mineral oil, or synthetic fragrances. It's hyperallergenic and dermatologist tested. So those people who have sensitive skin, this is your go-to product. I definitely believe those who have dry skin and normal skin will really, really like this. All these combination skin will like this. But, of course, we got to use powder and set it and all those other lovely things we do um, to keep our skin from the oils breaking through. Um, again, I will mention it's $14.99. You can find this at Target and now Ulta. <coughs> select Targets and select Ulta's, of course, and of course online too. Um, <coughs> another thing about it, um, it does have a wide range of colors. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before. It has very colors that for that are for your lights 
in colors that are for your um, darker skins. It's not geared towards just women of color. It's geared towards a wide range of complexions. And it's also geared towards cool tones, neutrals, and warms, which is a plus because at this foundation that they had um, in their earlier line which I also like too but it was hard number one matching your color and then it was also hard finding out you know sometimes it's not easy you know knowing right off the bat if a color is going to be neutral cool or warm especially in this and uh, their other foundation that they had so kudos to Shea Moisture and their new um, foundation um, I will say honestly, I recommend this. I will say that too. I recommend this for everybody to try. And the fact that a little bit goes a long way, you're not going to use a lot of this product up, so you'll have it for a while. And it's cruelty free. If I haven't mentioned, I don't think I've mentioned that either. And then the little the thing on the back that says how long it should last. It says 12 months. So. Anyways, that is my review on this product. I absolutely love it. I am going to test it in the summer because the summer for me is my true test on some foundations. Um, I definitely can't wear a lot of my foundations in the summer. I already went to Sephora to pick out my summer um, foundation. So hopefully that one can stand the test of the humidity. But anyways, thank you guys for watching my video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.